In this video, you're going to be learning about what is Handshake and how to generate a Handshake file. So let's get started. So let me actually go back to my Kali Linux virtual machine, tap on the terminal, and first we're going to be learning about Handshake. So Handshake. So the definition is a Handshake is something which gets generated whenever a client gets connected to an access point. So for example, uh, say that there is a router R1 and there is a client C1. Now, whenever C1 gets connected to R1, there is a handshake generated. So basically, whenever a client gets connected to an access point, a handshake is generated. So that is what a handshake is. Okay, got it? Fine. So now, so you might ask a question. Why are we learning about handshake? So guys, Handshake is something very important while cracking WPA and WPA2 passwords. And that is the reason we're gonna learn this. Okay? Fine. So as we now know what is Handshake and how it is generated, now let's actually see how to actually generate a Handshake file. For that reason, we're gonna be using a tool called Wi-Fi. So we have already used this. So Wi-Fi, enter. And it started scanning all the networks around it. And there you go, UT Starcom. This is the access point that we are about to target. And guys, one thing you need to remember whenever you are generating a handshake file is that the access point that you are targeting should at least have one client. Okay? Okay, let me just say that again. Whenever you want to generate a handshake file, you need to keep in mind that the access point, that is this particular one, the access point that you are targeting should at least have one client here there are no clients so let me actually connect a client to this particular one that is ut starcom so let me actually connect a client so as you can see i've connected my apple laptop to ut starcom so if i come to the kali linux again you can see that there's a client that is connected to ut starcom so the requirement is fulfilled now all you need to do is just target ut starcom and a new handshake file will be generated that's it so let me just press ctrl c and target UT Starcom. So the number is one. So one, enter. Now here you can see a handshake is being generated that is starting WPA handshake capture on UT Starcom. So let us actually wait for the process to complete. And once the process is complete, there will be a new handshake file that is generated for you. Great, as you can see there's a handshake capture and it's saved in this particular file that is hs slash ut starcom blah 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 dot cap. So let me actually show you where this file is. So tap on places and tap on home. So as you can see it is hs slash ut starcom. So let us actually search for hs. So here is hs folder. So open the folder and this is the file. So this is the handshake file that we're going to use to crack WPA and WPA2 passwords. So let me actually close this. So that's it for this video. In this video, you have learned what is handshake and how to generate a handshake and store it in a file. See you in the next video.